We continue with Seminar 3 and link up with the previous seminar and where we left it at. The previous seminars dealt with introductory areas of the Flatback 4 and we are going to continue that pathway over the next couple of seminars. We are still dealing with the introduction part, but also move towards the development and refinement of the Flatback 4. We will shortly start with the concept of doubling up and defending as partners. Not only is this the heart of zonal defending, it is also a very important element to defend successfully. This concept does not only apply to basic training sessions and youth soccer, it also applies to the top level, where these areas have to be refined constantly. This is the focus of this seminar. We are looking at group tactics, we want to take a detailed look at the concept of doubling up. I consider the concept of doubling up as the heart of zonal defending, as it becomes the main objective when applying pressure on the ball. In the previous seminar, the main focus was on 1v1 defending. However, we are now spending more time on how we can create numbers around the ball to outnumber opponents by creating 2v1 or 3v1 situations. Again, the objective is to take a detailed look at the process of doubling up. I also want to caution that we are not able to cover everything here. We could spend the entire day to discuss this topic by looking at every system of play. We can't do this here. However, I want to offer you a wide spectrum of solutions. And as stated before, it is not only about introducing one scenario, it is more about comparing a few different ones. Each coach must decide for himself what is most suited for his team. This can certainly differ from one team to another. I can absolutely confirm this statement as I am constantly working with the German national teams. There are different types of players and it certainly can happen to change the defending style based on these players' abilities. The job of the coach is to recognize the difference in players at hand and the game plan might change accordingly. The same applies to the attacking part of the game, but that's another topic. Okay, the most important questions on doubling up we have to ask ourselves. It is common sense that we are talking about the 11v11 game. The basic question is, where on the field does it happen? Does the 2v1 situation occur on the flanks? Does it occur in a central position? Is the ball close to goal or further away? Is it in the opponent's half? These are important aspects that determine how to defend and behave tactically.